So the art of taking a good selfie or even a group picture can be really tricky. A lot of times we see the pictures and hate the pose, we hate the angle or even the whole picture. We're here to discuss and bring us to the, take, take, take us to the rescue. I should say as fashion model and style expert, you want a house with some tips to improve those selfies and capture some quality memories. Yes. Hello. Yes. And let's not forget, we're also going to be talking about group shots. So a lot of times we get into family portraits and we hate the way we look. So I'm going to tell you how to make yourself look way better. Very than what, you know. cool. Now, you know, after the Oscar selfie, the big, huge buzz yes. was all about the selfies. So for anybody who's not really familiar with what exactly selfie is, uh -huh. explain that. Well, it's actually now in the dictionary. So a selfie is really just taking your own self-portrait with a smartphone. And a lot of these pictures are uploaded to our social media sites like Instagram, Facebook. It's a way of sharing with our friends and families what we're up to. And a lot of times, you know, people kind of, they've come out with these articles in like Huffington Post saying, oh, people are insecure, they're egocentric if they're taking their selfies. That's not what it's about. It really is about having fun, maybe someone- Capturing a moment. Capturing right? a moment. Maybe someone's not around to take your picture, so you take it yourself. And really, it's just, it, it's the pop culture and it's what it's all about is taking selfies. All right, so break it down for us. Where do we start to make sure that we can take a good selfie? A good selfie and a good picture. So the yes. first most crucial thing is lighting. Okay, as a model and, you know, especially for a great photographer, it takes many years for them to understand lighting. So what you want to do is really be in front of natural light is the best. And a lot of times people get in front of a dark shadows and it can age you and make you look a lot more tired than you actually are. So when you're in front of a good light, you're going to have a higher quality picture and you're really going to like the results so much better. So standing next to a window and also um, making making sure that your background isn't overexposed and that your face isn't overexposed because if you're standing in front of the sun and it's way too bright, it's going to create dark shadows and it's going to make you look tired. When you say overexposed, and you don't want the light behind you, so you don't want a big no. blast of light. and you don't you. want to have someone taking a picture where the light's behind you. You want the light to be in front of you. Right. And then what about angles? Okay. Angles are important. So let's say, do you have your phone with you? Um, no, I think I left it. Okay, so thing. if you have Sorry. your phone, basically what you want to do if you're going to take a selfie is you want to angle the phone and angle your face down and your posture. We're always talking about this. If you're having a great group shot, make sure that your neck is always extended out. Too many times people shrink into Scrunch themselves. Up, they, uh -huh. they kind of get next to people and it looks really awkward. You want to lengthen out your neck. You want to push back your shoulders. You want to always raise your um, chin up slightly okay. and you want to look up to the camera, not down, because then if you look down, it can also create a double chin. Mm. Very so. cool. And then uh, backgrounds. Okay, so check your background. A lot of these selfies, girls are taking pictures in bathrooms. We don't want to see toilets. I think that's just so gross. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> and also, uh, you know, we're popping out of a shower. Save those for your romantic partner. We also, you know, you kind of have to remember once it's out there in a public way, you have to be very careful. But also, if you're standing in, um, in a background that's not very clean, you can look like you have a tree sticking out of your head or what people call right. the photo bomb. So just make sure that the background is very clean, it's clean and, and also or it, or it pretties you up a little bit pretties you up but also have like a neutral background for the best quality shot as okay, well we got one minute left we want to go through the do's and the don'ts okay. so start with the ducks. so the don't the duck face um this is such a trend that a lot of teenagers are doing kim kardashian oh, and all that these drives me crazy and the it's really thing? just pursing your lips and it just kind of looks silly so relax your lips the next thing, <laughs> there I love him, my Zoolander. Anyway, um, he does the best duck face, if that's okay. But you know, these are some of the best selfies, which I think is here you have the Pope who's really getting into modern times and taking pictures and being more approachable. Oh, cool. And of course, um, one trick too, if you're gonna take a picture and you're uploading it, make sure the filter looks nice. A lot of these people are making everyone look like Oompa Loompas, they're making everyone orange and yellow. And don't tag your friends. If you've got a friend that doesn't look good or their mouth is open or they're half asleep, don't tag them. Them so that the whole world can see their picture. You should probably ask, first, do you right? like the way you look in this picture? Right. And um, those are some of our best selfies that we just showed of you know, the Oscars and the Very Pope. Cool. So those were the don'ts and the do's. Right, and All the right. worst selfie, imagine this. What if Mona Lisa were to oh, do this? No. Are you She'd ready? Be doing the, lips. the duck oh, face Mona on. Lisa. I'm just kidding. No, Leonardo, <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci would not, have, would not have approved of that. But that's oh, yeah, just yeah, to yeah. show you how beautiful classic picture could kind of gone bad if she had posed like so that. Stop so with the, stop with the duck lips yeah, already. No, All right, no thank you, Yuana. Thank as you. As always, for bringing us up to speed on the art of taking a good selfie. If you have any beauty or style questions for Yuana or you want to sponsor a Beauty Bus segment, just email her at living at firstcoastnews.com.